What's going on guys? So today yet another piece of jailbreaking software was updated. This time it's Ponage Tool and it now supports the 4.1 firmware. Now this jailbreak works a little bit differently than Green Poison and Lime Rain. This actually creates a custom IPSW or firmware file which you restore with with iTunes. The main advantage of Ponage Tool over the other jailbreaks is that the new firmware will preserve your baseband on your iPhone so that you can keep your ultra snow unlocked. So those of you who are running T-Mobile or maybe out of the country can now update to 4.1 without having um, without having your unlocks break and without updating your baseband. Now this jailbreak supports the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPhone 4. The iPod Touch 3G and 4G all running 4.1 firmware. And it also supports the iPad running 3.2.2 and this jailbreak also supports the Apple TV, but I'll have a totally separate video explaining the Apple TV jailbreak, so look for that on my channel in the next couple days. Now to start off, you're going to need to download the specific 4.1 firmware for your device, the original firmware. I'll have a link to where you can download all the firmwares that you need down in the underbar. And once your firmware is downloaded, double check to make sure it's the right one and that it is in IPSW form. If it's not, change it. And once that's done, go ahead and download Ponage Tool. I'll have a link down in the underbar again to where you can download it. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up, and you should get something that looks like this. And you're just going to want to choose the device that you're going to jailbreak with. Go ahead and connect it up to your computer first, and then choose whatever it is that you're going to jailbreak. And double click it, and uh, it will start searching for the firmware that you downloaded. Make sure that it's in some place where you can access it later like your desktop or your documents. And hopefully it'll come up. If it didn't, just try it again. If it did come up, go ahead and select whatever it is that you need. Make sure it's the 4.1 firmware file and nothing else because that's the only firmware that's supported right now. And go ahead and click the arrow. And uh, just click yes. It'll place it on your desktop and it will be easy access for when you need to restore it so just click this and click yes and if you have an iPhone you'll get this pop up here and it says if you have an iPhone 3G, 3GS or iPhone 4 that has a contract that you normally activate through iTunes all this is asking is if your iPhone is unlocked or not uh, mine's not so I'll just go ahead and click yes it is activated through iTunes and once you've gone through all that it will begin building your custom IPSW and all this is doing is it's building the firmware that you need it's putting Cydia and all the packages and essentially jailbreaking a pre-built firmware which you'll restore in iTunes in just a few minutes okay and once Ponage Tool has gone through its steps you might have missed this part but that's okay you'll get another chance to do it but basically after you have your custom firmware file on your desktop it should be iPhone or iPod or iPad 3 or 2 or 1 comma 1 underscore 4.1 and then it should say custom restore dot IPSW make sure that it is the custom restore and make sure that it's on a place like your desktop or your documents to where you know where it is and where you can access it later and once it's downloaded you're gonna want to follow the on-screen instructions with Ponage Tool and you're going to want to put your device in DFU mode. So just follow these on-screen instructions. I'm not going to do it just because my devices are all jailbroken and I don't want to mess with them right now. But just follow these on-screen instructions. It'll put whatever it is you're jailbreaking into DFU mode. And why you want to put it into DFU mode is basically because in a minute here you're going to restore through iTunes. So after it's in DFU mode, you're going to want to go ahead and open up iTunes and go on over to uh, whatever device you're using and it should ask you if you want to restore just go ahead and click yes and now what you have to do here is if you're on a Windows computer you're gonna hold down shift and if you're on a Mac you're gonna hold down options and you're gonna hit restore this little window should pop up and just go ahead and go to your desktop and find the custom firmware file that Ponage, Ponage tool just created and you're going to want to choose that and it will restore 
your device into its newly jailbroken state. It will put Cydia on it, it will jailbreak it, and do everything that you need it to do. But again, if you have an iPhone, it will preserve your baseband so it will remain unlocked. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment down below or send me a message and I'll do my best to help you out. Again, all the download links, all the information you need will be down in the underbar and I'll see you guys in the next video.